everyone, Prestissima here. Today, we are going to begin to learn to read music notation on the staff. We put notes on a staff to show how high or how low the pitch is. Notes on the staff will represent keys on the piano. When composers first invented this type of music notation, it started with just one line. A note on the line meant a specific pitch. Notes above or below the line meant notes higher or lower in pitch. Let me show you an example. Okay, so we started with the one line, remember? So there's one line and there's a note that starts on the line. That's the pitch that's indicated by the line. Then over here, you have one that's above the line. So that's higher than that one, right? And then we have a note that's even higher than that one, right? So that's an even higher pitch. Now. Under that, we have one that's below the line. So that's lower in pitch. And then here's one that's even lower than that one, right? So that one's even lower. And then over here, we have one on the line again. So it would be the same as that one. Over time, to make music notation more accurate, composers started adding more lines. They experimented with three lines and then seven lines, but then ultimately they decided that five lines was the best. We call these five lines a staff. One, two, three, four, five. We can put notes on the lines. See, one, there's two, three, four, five. Or we can also put the notes in the spaces between the lines, like here, see? In between the lines, it's four spaces. Here's an example of what some music would look like if we put it all on one line. See here? This actually makes a song. Let's call this line E. We're gonna call this pitch E above middle C. Let's see what it sounds like if we play it on the piano. Okay, so we said that this first note was going to be the first E above middle C, right? So let's find that. Here's middle C, here's E. Okay, and then this line is, or this note is below the line, right? So let's just go down a step and see what happens. Okay. And then this note is even lower than that one. So let's go down one more. Okay. And then that's back up, right? And then this is on the line. So that's the E above middle C, we decided. And three of those. Okay. And then down a step. Below the line. Okay, on the line, right? Okay, and then up here. Oh, it's a little bit more distance than here, right? So maybe we'll jump up a little bit. Hmm, this is starting to sound familiar. Let's go to the next line. So we have the E above middle C again, right? Okay, then below the line, so down a step, and then a little further down below. Okay, back up. Okay, we're back up on that E. Four times, and then below the line. Okay, back up to the line, below the line, and below that. Song sound familiar? Let me try it again. This time I'll play it in rhythm. Yay! Did you recognize Mary Had a Little Lamb? Or 
merrily we roll along. This is how musicians first started reading and writing music in Western Europe hundreds of years ago. It's where our present system of common practice Western music notation began to be developed. Let's read and play the song again, this time using a staff of five lines. This time, we are going to start on the note B, specifically the first B above middle C. So here's middle C, and here's the first B above middle C. And so this first B above middle C is going to be the middle line of the staff. So you can see there's a big fat B on that middle line. That's going to be B. Ooh, notice when we use a five line staff, we can be really accurate with the pitches and it's so much easier to read. So we have B on the middle line there, right? But then we go down to the space one little space, right? And that is one note. And then you're going to go down again back to the line and that's another note. And then you're going to go up a note and up a note and then stay there and then down a note, stay there, up a note. Oh, and then see how it goes from line and then it skips to this line. So there's a space in between there. That would be one note and that's two notes. So if this first note on the line is a B, then right below that, so let's see, here's B, and then right below that is A, because that comes before B. Excellent. And then right below that is G, because G comes before A when you're going down, remember? So down to G, and then back up one step to A, okay, and then back up one step to B, Okay, three times, and then down one step to the space here to A, okay, and then up one step to the line, which is B, right, that middle line. Okay, and remember, we're gonna skip this space. So if we were to go up one step to this space, that would have been C, right? But we're not gonna play it, because this is the one above that. So we have B, and then up past the space, to the next line, which is D. Excellent. So now that we've figured out how to find all the notes, let's play the whole song, okay? So we start here on B, the first B above middle C, which is that middle line, right? I'm gonna go ahead and say all the note names while I play, and you play along with me. Ready? Starting on B. B, A, G, A, B, 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 A, 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 B, D, D, B, A, G, A, B, 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 A, A, B, A, G. Yay! The letter at the beginning of the staff shows us the location of one note, the exact location of one note. Then we can go up or down or up or down or up or down or up or down or up or down to determine the other notes. So this letter at the beginning of the staff that shows us the exact location of the one note that we can use to base all the other notes off of, we call that a clef. Let's look at another example. Okay, so we have a five line staff and we're gonna say that this second line from the bottom, okay, so one, two from the bottom is the first G above middle C. So here's middle C, it's gonna be that note. And we mark it with a big fat G so you can see it, right on that second line from the bottom. So if this second line from the bottom is the first G above middle C, then if we go up, up to the space from this line, go up to the space, that's an A. And then if we go up to the line here, the line above the space, that's gonna be a B. And then we're gonna go up again, right? This way on the piano, this way on the staff. 
We're gonna go up again to that space, that's a C. And then we're gonna go up again to the line, and that's a D. And then the space is an E. And then up to the line is an F, and up to the space is a G. Right? Whole octave. All right, let's go back to this G down here, first G above middle C. Now, what if we were to go down, down the staff, right? This goes this way on the piano, right? So, if you have G on the line, then the space below it is F. And the line below that is E. And the space below that is D, and so on. So, since we use this G to show where the G is on the staff, we're gonna call this a G clef. This is fun, let's do another one. Okay, what do we have here? This is the second line from the top and we're gonna call that the first F below middle C. So here's middle C and then here's F. Excellent, okay. So if this is the first F below middle C on this second line from the top, let's see what happens when we go up. Up is this way on the piano, right? So if you go from this second line up to the space, that's a G, okay? And then up to the line, that's an A, and then one up there to the, to the space is a B. Okay, let's go back to that F, first F below middle C. Now what if we wanna go down, down the staff, right? We wanna go this way on the keyboard, right? So we have the first F below middle C, which is on the line, then the space Below that is E. Let's go down a step, right? And then the line below that is a step below that. That's D. And then to the space below that is a C. And the line below that is a B. And the space below that is an A. And the line below that is a G. And the space below that is an F. Cool, huh? So, because this F shows us where the F is, it's called F clef. The G clef and the F clef have become two of the important clefs that we use in music today. The G clef is also called the treble clef and the F clef is also called the bass clef. The treble clef staff generally contains notes above middle C and the bass clef staff generally contains notes below middle C. So the treble clef would generally play notes in this area and going up, and the bass clef would generally play notes in this area and going down. It's very important for us to know the difference between notes that are on the lines and notes that are on the spaces. So let's practice. Grab your handy dandy pencil and let's see, let's start with the lines. It says draw 10 different notes on various lines of the staff below, right? We have five lines. Let's start with this first one. All right, there's one. Okay, here's another line. Oops, that wasn't very good. Okay, how about this one? Here's a line. Oh, that was really good. Okay, here's a line. Uh-huh, ooh, that was a nice one. Okay, here's another line. All right, so we go back up. Here's a line. Uh, I'm gonna pick a cool one like this one. All right, there's a line, there's a line. See how I drew circles on the lines. Do, do, do. I like this one a lot. Okay, and then down here. Did I draw 10 yet? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, I'll do one more for fun. Okay, all right. Notice that when we draw notes on the lines, the line goes through the middle of the note, right? Look at this one drew this note and this line goes right through the middle of it, right? Here's a note on a line and the line goes right through the middle of it, okay? I think I'm pretty good at that now. Let's go ahead and try this one. Try 10 different, draw 10 different notes on various spaces of the staff below. Okay, they did one for us. I'll fill it in. Oops, there you go. So I'm gonna draw a note in between the two lines like that, okay? Now here's a space, so in between these two lines. Okay, oh, that was a big one. Okay, how about here? 
next space okay hmm okay how about this space here okay and then i'll go back up to this space and up to this one and up to this one see i'm always between the lines okay now I'll jump around a little bit i like this space okay and oh i like this space a lot and you know what this is a space too there's no line there which means this is a space too cool how many do i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay well i'll do two more for fun there's one and there's one see they are all in between the lines inside the spaces see and remember Spaces can also be above and below the staff. Okay, now that we've figured out our lines and our spaces, let's practice the notes on the G clef, or the treble clef, we also called it, remember? Okay, so we said that this second line from the bottom is G on the G clef, right? It's marked there with a big red G. Okay, so this is a line. Now, above this line, we have a space, and we called it A. Okay, so then... Above the A, we have a line called, oh, it's a box. What do we call this box? What is this line going to be called? If this is A, what is the next note above A, or the, the note after A in the music alphabet going up? Good, it's a B. Oh, excellent. I got it right in the middle. Okay, so then going up, from there we have a space, and that's C. Okay. And then going up, we have a line. And what's that going to be called? What's after C going up in the music alphabet? Yes, it is D. Very good. Okay. And then after D, this line, we have a space. What's after D going up in the music alphabet? It's E. Excellent. Huh. Okay. And then after E going up in the music alphabet, we have F on that line. And then on the space above that, we have G. All right. So let's go back to this G. This is the first G above middle C. And then we're going to go down now. So what's below G? So what's before G in the musical alphabet is F, right? So that's the space. And then you're going to go down to a line. And what's before F in the musical alphabet? So this is going down. E. Okay. Excellent. And then below this line is a space, and that's going to be D. Wow, we're doing great, everyone. Let's try it with the F clef now. This is also known as the bass clef. So we have F. This is the first F below middle C, and it's going to be on the second line from the top. So we marked it with a big fat F, okay? So let's try going up first. What's after F in the musical alphabet is G, right? So from the line to the space is G, and then from this space, we go up to this line, and what's that called? So after G in the musical alphabet, going up, starts over again to A, right? Okay, so that's A. And then going up to this space is B. Right, okay, let's go back to this F. So first F below middle C, and then we're going to go down to the space. So what's before F in the musical alphabet? This is going down, right? So we have E. And then this line below that is D, because that's right before E. And so we're going to go down to this space now. What's before D in the music alphabet? It's C. Excellent. Okay. And then below this space is a line. And what's before C in the music alphabet? Going down is B. Very nice. Okay. So then below this line is a space. That's A. And then below this space is a line that's going to be, remember, going down, aha, it's G. Okay, that's the line. And then below that is a space, and that is F. Now for some very important questions. Going up the staff means, so this is up, up the staff, right? Means going which way? On the keyboard. We're going up the staff means going that way on the keyboard, right? So 
Going up the staff means going to the right on the piano keyboard, right? Now going down the staff, this way, right? Down the staff means we're going which way on the piano keyboard? So down is this way, right? So we're gonna go down the staff, meaning going to the left on the piano keyboard. Wow, everyone, we learned a lot today. We began to learn to read music notation on the staff. We learned that a staff has five lines. We learned that when we name one note on that staff, we call that a clef. We learned that when we have a staff that points to the first G above middle C, we call that a G clef or a treble clef. And when you have a staff that points to the first F below middle C, we call that F clef or bass clef. We learned that notes can go on lines or in spaces. And we learned that when you go or down the lines or spaces, we're going up or down the music alphabet. Every line or space on the staff represents a key on the piano. And now you know how to find them. In our next video, we're gonna learn a song where we read the notes on the staff. Can't wait to see you all again soon. Presties out.